our main man, CP, the franchise from Knicks Fan TV. He's joining in the JR Sport Brief Show on the fan. What's up, CP? JR, man, good to talk to you. Ha- happy Saturday. Uh, I was in the car listening to uh, to the show, man. I just wanted to, to tap in. First of all, congratulate you on all your success. And, uh, yeah, man, just jump in on the conversation. Thank you, man. Go ahead. What's up? Uh, look, I-, I think a lot of the callers have valid points. But I also think, you know, blaming the media, the fans, the stadium, I, I just don't see that. I just don't see that as as being accurate in, in basketball and football, man. Especially with the with the Knicks and the Giants, and you look over the past for the Giants last say ten years, and for the Knicks say twenty, it's mismanagement. It's complete and utter mismanagement, and and not from a free agency standpoint, because I think a lot of the the callers are looking from from a perspective of why aren't guys signing with the Knicks. But we've got to draft these guys. We have to draft our homegrown players in order to help us compete. I mean, look at the Knicks last four years. They drafted Frank Nielke in 2017 draft, passing over Donovan Mitchell at a bio. Even Luke Kennard, he's not even on the team. They go out, they go get Kevin Knox over guys like Shea Gilgis Alexander. Uh, the Bridges, Miles Bridges, Mikal Bridges, Kevin Knox is on his way out of the league. They go out and, and they, they draft an Obi Toppin, a redundant piece here with Julius Randle. And who knows what his future holds with the Knicks. But the point is, is that he's not going to be an impact player with this team or it's not likely. So you have three of the last four years where they go out and, and misfire on the draft. That's mismanagement. If you look at the NBA with the implementation of the Supermax deals, These big-time names, the guys who matter, the impact players, they're staying with their teams. Joel Embiid, Steph Curry, Luka Doncic, look at what Donovan Mitchell did. They're going out, they're getting these $30, $40 million deals. Well, By the time Lamelo Ball is is, uh, up for for his max, super max, it'll be close to maybe $50 million. They're staying with these teams, and and when the going gets tough, then they'll request, request that trade out. With their money in, in hand. So you're, are you putting it at management? Because where I put it at was even further up the ladder than that. It's it's ownership. It's the people who own and, and shepherd these teams around. They're the ones hiring the management. I'll say this. I think I would push back on, on the idea that Dolan is content with losing. Because I don't think that. I, I think he No, it's does. not. No, there's a difference. There's a difference between being content with losing and being absolutely oblivious as to how to run an organization, how you treat people, how you respond to people, whether or not you have rabbit ears, whether he, he acts like yeah. he acts like a, a, a he acts like a kid who got a toy and it was called the New York Knicks. He doesn't know how to speak to people. He has rabbit ears. I mean, he, he, he bends over backwards to the wrong things. It's it's not an idea that he doesn't care. I don't think there are too many people who walk around going, man, I just making enough money. It's OK for me to be a loser. But it's it's how you manage. It's how you own. It's how you connect with people. And, and that has been a complete failure. Well, I, I don't hear too many Rangers fans complaining about that, though, JR. I think you also I, I agree with you. I think those are all valid points on Dome. Um, but I think. He's, yeah, but it's there's the a, right it, guys underneath cor- you to run the team. Cor- correct, and he he's done that with the New York Rangers. He's failed with that on the New York Knicks completely. It one has nothing, absolutely nothing, to do with the other. None. He's meddled. He's meddled on one end. Uh, th- there was a time, and I know you're very familiar with it, that the hmm. New York Knicks that there were going to be fans lined up on Seventh and Eighth Avenue to talk about how inept the franchise has been run. And then what was the response? Hey guys, here's Phil Jackson. Oh wow, what is what what has Phil Jackson done? You know, so I don't care if you are, you know, if we go if we go back 30 years ago and we gotta print presses and, and and sell magazines on a stand, or whether you own a bakery and you gotta get up at 4 a.m. in the morning, or whether you run the New York Knicks and own the New York Knicks in Madison Square Garden, everything is a people business. You're correct. Who do you hire? How do you treat them? And so I would say, yeah, yeah, you got to have people who can manage it. You at you at the core, you also can't be a jerk. You can't. Oh, listen, all, all fair points. I, I can't absolve Dolan from that. 
Uh, but you know, my main take is it's it's got to be on on the on the proper management and and really bringing in the the right players. I mean, look at look on the Giants side of thing. Look at the football side of the business. Since that 2011 championship, we still can't get a cohesive offensive line in here. You know, look at how many Giants have been drafted between that time that are no longer even on the team or even in the league. So yeah. I, again, it's it's an indictment. You know, you go out, you pass on a guy like a Laramie Tunsil and go get an Eli Apple. You waste a draft pick on, on an Evan Ingram. You know, was a Saquon pick the right yeah. pick when you well, had so many moves we, to make? We, we can go through a lot of the misgivings yeah. and, and screw-ups from every team. Now, whether it's a matter of, of drafting, which is correct, whether it's the attractiveness of the team when it is or a player is eligible for free agency, there's a combination of things. And you're correct, too. You think about how to build within, that has been a problem. But what I've looked at is the ultimate result, and it's looking at why Los Angeles is an attractive destination. You know, this is this is a, a few things that, that you can remember, CP. And thank you so much for calling. We got to get you on, okay? Absolutely, man. Anytime, Jr. Thanks for the time. No doubt. <laughs> 